Sudan's economic situation is improving, the president of the World Bank has said. But David Malpass, on a visit to Khartoum, also urged patience, as the country seeks to tackle shortages and attract investment. Sudan is making a transition uh, from, from, uh, from uh, a violent situation, uh, from a situation of shortages, uh, to the situation uh, that is gradually improving. It takes time to go through this process. Sudan has been mired in a crisis that led to the overthrow of former leader Omar al-Bashir in 2019 and has continued since. It also remains politically fragile and thousands staged pro-democracy protests on Thursday following an attempted coup last week. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Abdallah Hamdok was meeting with Malpas. Hamdok said inflation had slowed slightly to 388% and that a sharply devalued currency had shown signs of stabilizing. The trade deficit declined year on year to $1.2 billion in the first half of 2021. But many Sudanese continue to struggle with poverty, shortages of medicines and power cuts. Shortages of fuel and of bread are, 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 uh, have, have improved substantially. And I think there can also be improvement on the electricity side. Uh, it's going to mean higher prices uh, at, 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 at the right time as the reforms are put forward. But that brings in more supply and that can really help uh, Sudan have more access. Malpass is the World Bank's first president in decades to visit Sudan, which faced extensive sanctions under Bashir. Over the next year, the bank says it will commit around $2 billion in grants to help tackle poverty and inequality, including hundreds of millions over the next two months for budget support, electricity improvements and irrigation projects.